tape at 6 inches. This is an 8 by 10 canvas. And we are going to paint this in, in acrylic. It's going to be a super easy piece for you today. I'm going to start with the top. And I want to premix the colors. So I'm going to take ultramarine blue plus white. Um, I'm blending this. And I'm going to put the extender. This is probably too dark. I'm going to put it on the side and add more of the white. I'm going to start by putting the extender at the top. I'm going to now bring that blue color that I just mixed and put it at the top. Until I get to the middle. I need to right away mix orange. So I'm going to take part of this state extender and the orange. Let's take a tiny bit of white. I'm going to put in our brush the extender and the blue. Let's take this color and then that color in there. I need a tiny bit more of the, of the white, but we'll see. As I go down, I can add more of the white extender. I'm not going to wipe my brush. I'm just going to put the orange in here. And this is the Camion Orange Plus Dirty Brush. And I'm going to start uh, on the bottom. That's, too, that's not the right color. There. That's it goes to the top, we'll add more of the light and blend these colors in here. So I'm going to take more of the light and blend it in the middle of the white plus the light. You don't want to make lines and I'm making a line in there so let's try to blend that in there. Um, I want to also create some cloud effect. Let's see if we can create. There's a um, tiny bit more light on this area and there's a tiny bit of cut yellow. So let's bring some of the cut yellow and light. So cut yellow. We're going to add this cut yellow to the white color that we added. Some extender. We don't want this to dry. It's exactly the same colors that we used before. So let's see. Let's blend it a tiny bit with this color. With the uh, color that is underneath. Don't put it, don't put it on top of the blue. Let's see, we need um, a bit more of the cut yellow plus the white. Let's put some white with this cut yellow. And make it even lighter in there. If you want to put some clouds, now is the time before this dries. I want to put more lightness in here. So I'm going to go to this color plus white. The gray color that we mixed plus white. Maybe it should move this in here a tiny bit. See, maybe go there. So this plus this color that we just mixed. And we need some extender. And let's put it in here. If you want to put some of that gray as clouds here and there. If you want to. It's not necessary uh, to put that. I probably leave it this way. Remember not when you put in a brush and put it thirsty. Uh, put it uh, with some extender. You can put either light. I'm gonna put light in here. But I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I think it's beautiful that way. Um, except for that I think this needs to be a tiny bit blended in there. Put an only color in there. Let me put the light color. Let it dry and then do the bottom part. The tape. And now I'm going to mix the color for the bottom. And I'm going to use the same uh, blue that I mixed before. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of cut orange and a tiny bit of alizarin crimson. So this color. I have some color here when I was testing it. Let's put a tiny bit, not too much, of alizarin crimson. Making it more into the purple. I think I put too much alizarin, so let me put more of the blue. And I think it needed more of the alizarin. So it's a purpley color that you're going to be creating in here. I think I'm going to add a tiny bit of the orange, because this has orange. I'm going to go carefully at the top like this, and base coat this area. But I'm going to do it outside of camera, because I have to go put my head closer to this, so that I don't leave any space. So we painted... The remainder of these, like this. That color that we just mixed. Now we're going to put some movement in this water. Let's mix a darker color. Let's put some of that mix, purple mix with the, the blue mix that we have in here. We can add 
some of this purple mix and maybe make it even darker. So we are mixing colors. Well, this is what is called marrying the colors. So they are part of the same composition. So if you mix this color that you mix, the purple mix, and you put it inside in here, now this is part of that color. And let's see, I'm just going to clean my brush. Okay, it needs to be darker. So I'm going to add a tiny bit of the blue. The ultramarine blue. Not too much. A tiny bit more. Let's take a part of that and add that ultramarine blue. Okay, I'm going to add a tiny bit of the alizarin crimson to that color. Make it even darker. It's even darker than that. Um, I'm going to add the complementary color of the orange. And that is going to make it um, darker. Plus the ultramarine blue. Remember on the previous piece that we mixed um, the complementary color of orange and, and blue and we make that black color? We're trying to make this um, almost as black. So it's going to be for the deepest areas. Okay, so this has to be wet. So I'm going to start by putting that color again on my brush. And some blue came, went in there, that's okay. And then I'm going to start um, taking the, the dark color and making uh, some dark movement. Some deep areas. Here and there. That's too much. You can go, always go back to the um, light color. And I am taking some of that um, colors that I have in here and blend it together and making some light colors and that's probably too too gray so let's put some of that uh, pur pur light purple if you t if it turns too dark you see that's too blue that is too blue and it has to be purple so I'm gonna go back to the purple that we mixed and you know this is you play with these and you make it your own so it doesn't have to be exactly what I have in here mine is not perfect and this is supposed to be a very easy uh, piece it's gonna make some some movement in here and I want it to be lighter where the where, where I'm gonna put the sailboat I want that to be lighter so let me check where I'm gonna put the sailboat I'm gonna put the sailboat right there so I'm gonna make this area in here lighter so I'm gonna take some of that blue with the white and make this area lighter in here and I'm gonna blend that cleaning the brush so that I can blend some deeper areas probably need to take a, a smaller brush brush to do so this deeper area because they're making huge um, lines and it is some only oops that's even too much too big so maybe a liner. I'm gonna take a liner to the for the next step. So deeper areas. I think it's easier this way because you just wanna put some dark lines, but not uh, huge lines, and some lighter areas. And I'm gonna let let you let you play with this. And then I'm not gonna do all this in here. But for example, let's put lighter in here with the white and some of the blue and I probably want to blend that so I'm gonna take the purple the dark purple so I leave you playing with this area take some of this um, gray color and a tiny bit of cut yellow and bring some of that light from the light color in there so that a tiny bit of the cut yellow and I, I gotta say some sunshine in there and make sure you have some of the uh, light blue plus the white in this area. So it is warmer in here, but the one that are you putting in this area are cooler, more blue. I'm bringing some of the peach also in here. And you know what? I am being creative because I know there is peach in the sky and everything reflects. So the first step will be, I'm going to take Burn Umber plus Permanent Maroon and I'm going to go over every single line that I have in here. I am making a mixture of Orange, Permanent Maroon and Ultramarine Blue and I'm going to test it in here and that, that's about the right color. And I want to make sure that this line that I made in there, I can um, hide it a tiny bit. So let's do that. I'm going to base coat this with this mixture. In order for this to 
um, fold we have to put darker um, on the edge and the darkest color is the same color with a tiny bit of ultramarine blue and then I wanted it to be lighter um, let's see I'm putting a tiny bit of the dark in here let's go back to the original color and blend that the same color plus white and I'm going to lighten this side trying to cover those graphite lines and you may need to put this twice so let's go back to the white that color plus white and highlight this again in here and maybe you need to put um, on that highlight any bit more of the orange now we are going to put that same color in here which was the ultramarine blue the ultramarine blue the permanent maroon and the orange so the color is mixed with the orange plus the maroon a tiny bit a tiny bit of the let's put only a tiny bit of that um portraying blue then we make a lighter color with white let's put more orange on the lighter color and we want this mi mixes to last us a tiny bit so let's add some of the retarder then we can make a lighter call even lighter color with the um, orange plus white more orange and more white and make a lighter color and even a lighter color let's take a tiny bit of this plus white this is exactly the same way that I do um, that I paint in oils that's why I'm adding the retarder so that they work like oils it's better I think it's better if you mix the colors instead of uh, doing what I was doing because it looks dirty this way you make colors more brilliant okay let's see so let's start this and we're gonna put the this dark color we're gonna put in here and that probably then needs a tiny bit more of the ultramarine blue immediately when I put it it looks like it's not the right color take that and add more of the ultramarine blue and now it's super dark so I'm gonna add more of the white maybe let's take some of here I think I put too much ultramarine blue too fast too much so instead of trying to correct this I'm gonna move a tiny bit to the side and add more of the this dark color let's see let's clean that color that we put in there let's check this other one still is not the right color still not the right color so let's see if I blend these two colors gonna put the color will be right back if you blend these two colors in there it will give you the correct color and now um, this tiny section in there uh, you take the maroon permanent maroon and base coat that tiny section with the permanent maroon whoops that's too much so let's base coat that small section in there with the permanent maroon and I'm gonna take um, permanent maroon and I'm going to line a tiny bit this in here so now um i'm going to show you a float so i'm gonna take um the lightest color on my brush and i am gonna do a float on my brush and i'm gonna apply this float on this side over here over there and then um i'm gonna float the dark color on this side over here over there and blend it in there now this has some lines that I'm gonna take with this color with a tiny bit of the maroon and it, it also has some lines going across it's gonna make one for you like that and you're gonna get make another one same color and uh, make more but they're gonna uh, go all the way to the end so let's do the other side and we're gonna start with the um, medium color and let's see it goes all the way to here and I'm gonna base coat these with this color and dry it now this color I'm gonna um, take not that one but the, this other color in here and I am going to 
Flodak color on this side because these have to both they have to be they are the same boat right and if you go over the dark area you can always take a clean brush and clean it now we're not gonna leave that area with that color alone I'm gonna take that this color plus a tiny bit of the maroon and make a darker color and then I'm going to shade this side with this color forgot where I have the color and I'm going to dry these so that I can put more color so we have in here very dark dark medium light and highlight I think this same color that we're just putting in there is the one that it is in here in the in this section so I'm just gonna put it in there I'm basically cutting the bottom section with um, burnt umber and the dark color and this section in here you know but umber is um, transparent so you're gonna have to put several coats of this now I'm gonna take uh, the, the um, highlight plus the medium color and I'm gonna highlight um, this section of the boat and then I'm going to take burn umber plus ultramarine blue and make black and I'm going to put a line at the top and at the bottom I'm gonna take um, white plus ultramarine blue and I'm gonna put a cast shadow on that side of the boat blend that with the number color reflects you know that okay I'm gonna do give um, take some of these um, the dark color not the very dark the dark and I'm gonna put a line in here of this very dark color do not cover your sky there's some sky showing okay then I'm gonna put another coat of this um, color that I put in there in the bottom section I'm gonna put a line of the dark highlight uh, with the dark plus medium and we're gonna put a highlight in here let's see what side has the highlight put the dark there uh, we can put a highlight in the middle like in the middle in here and then we are going to uh, take the medium plus dark and we're going to darken this in here and there and we are going to dry that but in the meantime we are going to take dark and we are going to darken in here make sure, make sure that you do not cover the section in there there's a small section of of sky in there the same color the dark color is a tiny bit of medium we are going to use to shade this side that side we're gonna dry that so that we can highlight we're gonna put this color in here and then we're gonna put two highlights one going this way and the other one going the other way and blend them together in there and that probably color is too light but we're just gonna leave it there and we're gonna tint it with uh, the, uh, the light color I'm going to reapply the, those lines with the maroon plus burn umber one by one these uh, lines in here all the lines take the, the very dark color plus white and base coat the remainder of the of the section in here and we're gonna then highlight this section in here is base coated with the dark color and shaded with the um, permanent maroon plus plus dark plus very dark and plus um, burnt umber this is supposed to be an easy piece so I'm just gonna do one more highlight and I'm gonna leave it like this I'm gonna highlight um, with um, let's let's take the um, light plus the highlight because I think the highlight is too light and I'm going to highlight in here like that so I'm taking um, maroon plus burnt umber and darkening next to the boat in there and place a cast shadow underneath the boat some highlight in here and maybe in there well this is the final piece thank you for those that have become patrons the line drawing will be again in my patreon page 
and I'm adding also videos there. So hope you can join us. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.